the next part is about Shopper PWA and the best person to talk about Shopper PWA is of course Patrick. Second Patrick. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, this is actually the status, uh, next status about Shopper PWA because last time uh, we talked about the full CMS integration uh, and other features on the, on the Shopper PWA. So this is about uh, the new upcoming features, uh, which will be released uh, next week. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, first of all uh, is the ability to add Shopper plugins. Uh, we already have uh, prepared uh, Hello Kodi plugin, which is uh, kind of uh, our test uh, case scenario for, for the plugin implementations. Uh, so basically what you're gonna do when you want to uh, add a plugin, Shopper plugin uh, to your uh, Shopper PWA instance is just installing plugin on the uh, Shopper, uh, rebuilding the project with, with our CLI and done because uh, here's the output of, of uh, how, how the plugin looks like uh, after installation. Uh, it requires no, uh, no development job and how it works, uh, how does it work exactly? It's like the, our team contains a slot. Uh, this case was a slot under the top navigation bar. Uh, and the plugin contains a configuration in which slot uh, does it, uh, does it uh, want to be uh, injected. So the RCLI loads plugins from the shopper instance and then displaying it on the uh, on the selected slots. So that's why uh, uh, it does not require any development job to configure uh, plugins installed from from the plugin uh, from the shopper marketplace. Of course, there are special plugins um, needed <coughs> to to for PWA. But there will be a comprehensive documentation how to how to do this. Uh, the second part uh, is that we're integrating with the storefront cloud. Uh, soon the main demo will be available uh, on on this um, address. Uh, it's um, we're moving there because um, the. Um, serverless architecture, which is uh, now hosted on site, uh, is not fast enough for us because uh, it needs uh, some initial time to warm up because before uh, it starts rendering. So it's basically is not the best uh, showcase for how to how to implement the, these kind of shops. That's why we we're integrating with with Storefront Cloud to be able to uh, show the best of, of, the, pro uh, of the product. Uh, the third feature is upgradable teams because the uh, user project, which will be the end project, can use any of the <coughs> teams and uh, with different versions and it doesn't affect the, uh, doesn't affect the end uh, project because you can, you can switch teams uh, you can uh, pick another version, and it's all, all, all uh, uh, it's all working. You can also overwrite any of of these uh, team elements. And the better part is uh, we have team inheritance. Uh, so basically, for example, here we have our default team, and you want to have team uh, when you want to have. Uh, another head menu. So you're creating team with inheritance of this default team. You're changing only this, and then you're able to share this team with others. This is only the case when you want to uh, share your team to be, uh, for example, to others to, to use it in the user projects. Because everything what is uh, done here can be also done in, in the end project. So uh, basically you can overwrite everything in, in, this, uh, um, in this pipeline. Uh, so what's the timeline for the Shopper PWA? Uh, these features that I just talked about uh, will be released in the next week. 
uh, as, as still as in, uh, our uh, alpha stage, but we're aiming uh, for the beta to the end of the March uh, because uh, we have pretty everything wrapped up. Uh, so uh, it will be uh, ready for, for uh, real development really soon. Uh, and also we're looking for a, a pilot project. Uh, if you're interested to being such kind of project, uh, please contact Patrick Friday, here's the uh, email to him, uh, so we can uh, schedule a call and, um, and um, set if, if you're the right case uh, and we're the right case for you. Uh, what's the pilot project? Uh, uh, we'll, we'll have uh, our full core team support. So uh, this is very, very nice uh, gain for you. Uh, and uh, also it will be the first uh, implementation uh, which we'll show on the uh, Shopper Community Days in uh, May, end of the May. Yeah, so this is pretty pretty nice opportunity, especially for the agencies entering the shopware world willing to have first case, so we can guarantee your support and the uh, um, promotion in this case, which is great. Mm -hmm.